19th of February, 2018, Isaiah 33, 14. The sinners in Zion are afraid. Fearfulness has surprised the hypocrites. Who among us shall dwell with the devouring fire? Who among us shall dwell with everlasting burnings? I also saw that they were terribly hungry. For some of them there was even a physical hole on their stomachs like a big red wound, and worms kept filling the holes. They are thirsty, tired, hungry, sleepless, and it keeps accumulating on and on. There is no relief from the previous hunger or thirst. Instead, there is only addition, nor is there any relief from the other torments. For those in hell, I also saw that even their own voice is noise to them. They wanted to rest, not only from the noise of the voices of others, but also from their own. Their own voice is noise to them, but they can't stop screaming. There is no peace or quiet in hell. Jesus said, Are you afraid of warning someone about a place like this? Do you know that if you do not warn them, they will be here, not only 10 million years from now, but for all eternity? It's like a circle that just goes round and round and back round again, but does not end. It's hard for you humans to imagine eternity, but they will be here for all eternity. Just warn them. Warning them about this place will not even take the whole day. A few minutes will save someone from hell. I also saw demons running to earth to come and attack people with worldly things. Contrary to how one would expect to see them running, these were running uphill and not downhill. They were facing up and running uphill with darts in their hands on what looked like gray slides. These demons had their faces looking up to where they were going and they looked determined. You could see the muscles vibrating in their thighs as they ran. I saw things like worldly movies, music, and cartoons. I saw these movies displayed in street corridors being sold. These things were from them to trap people to hell. The Bible shows that hell is below, the earth is above, and when coming from hell, you go up and not down. Ezekiel 31.16 I made the nations to shake at the sound of his fall when I cast him down to hell with them that descend into the pit. And all the trees of Eden, the choice and best of Lebanon, all that drink water, shall be comforted in the nether parts of the earth. For the music, it's not only American music which is considered as secular music and takes you to hell, but even local music, love songs, etc., just as long as the music doesn't glorify God. I was hearing all that the Lord was telling me, but I was terrified. I was extremely terrified. I thought he would just disappear and leave me in this place. I felt so weak and scared that I could no longer stand. My knees felt beaten and they were giving way. I couldn't stand. Great fear came over me. Streams of tears were pouring out of my eyes. I thought I was there to be tortured. I kept begging the Lord, Lord, what sin have I committed? Please get me out of this place. Why am I here? Please, 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 I beg you. I have seen hell many times, but never like this. This was more intense, and the things I was seeing more horrifying. The Lord was still holding tightly to my hand and did not let go of it while I was in that place. He was holding it so tightly that I felt like it was locked to my hand. Not even the demons could have been able to pull me away. The Lord is faithful. He loves us, but he does not want sin. He was also not talking to me like an enemy, but like a friend who is deeply concerned and in a kind of pain that we humans are not able to feel. He was concerned that people are coming to this place and he didn't want them to come anymore. He couldn't bear the pain. I kept protesting that I wanted to get out of that place. The Lord looked at me with an expression on his face. He had an expression of deep concern and shook his head from side to side as if saying, I am showing you so that the world can know. He shook his head as if saying, You don't know, you really don't know what it feels like to be burning in this place. The Lord wept bitterly with his hand over his eyes. He helped me back up to my feet and told me, I will not leave you here, but you must say everything I have told you, even about your family. I want the world to know that no one is too special to go to hell. I love you, and I love your family. I love the world. But people must repent because although I love them, they will come to this place if they do not repent. Oh, how I love them so. I love them so. I died for them. The Lord groaned like one deeply distressed that I even heard his heart groan. 
He would weep bitterly and not silently. He wept loudly with great groans. I saw blood flooding from his hands. The Lord's blood was red, but it looked like light was coming from it like white rays of light. He said, Tell them that my blood washes clean from all sin. Satan lies to them that no matter how hard they try, they will never make it to heaven, but tell them I, the Lord Jesus Christ, tells them that they will make it, for I have overcome the world. He said, Even many of your family members right now currently are all marching to this place because of secular TV, secular music, wearing trousers when they are female, artificial hair, and worldliness. Tell them I will make no exception. Tell people from all races that I will make no exception. No one is above my holy standards. All men are equal to me, from the richest on earth, even to the poorest of them all. I am God. I do not have human standards. My standards are established like the earth and they shall not be moved. Many people like saying, this message about holiness is for Africans. We have been wearing makeup and trousers and it's been our tradition for years. Or they say, I'm doing this so that I can look smart. Are you saying that God made you dirty the way he created you? Hell is waiting if you do not repent. Isaiah 29:16. Can the thing formed say, he doesn't understand? Isaiah 29:16. Surely your turning of things upside down shall be esteemed as the potter's clay. For shall the work say of him that made it, he made me not? Or shall the thing framed say of him that framed it, he had no understanding? I also noticed many other things in hell, apart from what the Lord was showing me. I saw a group of demons lined up to make two rows. They were dressed in gray metallic armor, which had no provision for the eyes or nose, but was completely sealed. They would dance the routine dances people dance here on earth. They would move to the right, to the left, back, whirl around, and then raise one hand up and make a goat head symbol with their fingers and exclaim at once, all hail Satan. This part of hell they were dancing from was even raining acid. I understood that for all those who do these dances, they are actually giving praise to Satan just like these demons were doing. They are coming to this place. Many people also do these kinds of dances at weddings. Friendship with the world is enmity with God. James 4.4 4. You adulterers and adulteresses, know you not that the friendship of the world is enmity with God? Whoever therefore will be a friend of the world is the enemy of God. Those dances are demonic. Many people do this, even in movies and what people see on TV they imitate. I also saw a big board with words that looked like upside letters written there. However, their letters did not look like any letters in our alphabet. A huge demon was standing over the board and pointing at the board using a rod. He was speaking to demons that had big round heads but baby-like bodies and were seated cross-legged. The eyes of these demons were evil red. I understood that this huge demon was teaching this group of identical demons more ways of bringing people to hell, more tactics to bring humanity to this place. The demons had big heads and small bodies, which means that they know so much, but come innocently among humans like babies, as if they know nothing. Demons in human form are real, and they are living among us. Jesus said, Tell my people to pray. These demons are nothing when they encounter prayer. I am He. There is no other God. I alone am God. I saw Satan standing afar off observing us intently. He was looking at the Lord with a sly eye and looking deeply thoughtful. I could hear his thoughts. He is destroying my kingdom. I can't believe that he is destroying my kingdom. I have worked so hard to have them in this place and I can't believe he wants to destroy my kingdom. And he started screaming at me in a creepy voice that sounded like it was passing through some metallic medium and as if it's many people talking at once. Shut up, shut up. If you don't shut up about what you've seen, I'll bring your mother to this place. I'll bring your father to this place. I'll bring your brother. When you have children, I'll bring them all to this place. I'll roast them and eat their flesh so you had better shut up. He was trying to blackmail me. But the Lord told me, He is the father of all lies. Every word that proceeds from his mouth is a lie. Speak and do not be silent. I want humanity to be saved. The Lord said, The one who does not share my gospel with others hinders them from knowing the truth. 
those people are falling into hell every second. Look. He waved his hand and I saw countless multitudes, like nations and sands on the seashore falling down at the speed of light into hell. Their clothes were blowing fiercely with the air and some had their hands spread out. They were screaming as they fell. Ah! While kicking in the air, trying to go back up to no avail, and others were screaming other things. But they were all falling fast into this dark hole. They were people of all ages. People's brothers here on earth. People's sisters, mothers, and fathers. Different people's families. I was in great sorrow and heartbroken when seeing this. Tears were just flooding my eyes. I imagined that, what if it was my own family falling into this place right now? I saw huge rooms filled with tables that had no end. Here were people who never evangelized the gospel on earth. On each table was a person with a demon torturing them. Some were handcuffed to the wall so that they do not escape. They would slice off their hands and feet. These people were in horrible torment, and their whole bodies looked as if they had been bathed in blood. When the Lord had opened that room, there was a terrible heat that came out, and smoke was rising up in the air with steam that came from the heat. The people had boils as if boiling. They were in terrible torment. Mark 16, 15, 16 tells us to preach the gospel to every creature. Mark 16, 15, 16. And he said to them, Go you into all the world, and preach the gospel to every creature. 16. He that believes and is baptized shall be saved, but he that believes not shall be damned. When they sensed the presence of the Lord, they all raised up their heads, and some of those who were not cuffed on their hands were screaming, Ah! The scream was a scream for mercy as if all saying, Please! Get us out of here, we can't take it anymore. We want to go back to earth to make things right. I also saw another hall of torment with endless tables. These were people who watched pornography and practiced masturbation. On each table was one person being cut to pieces and tortured by a demon. There were men and women of all age ranges and races. They would cut off the men's privates and for the women, they would insert a saw in and pull it out with force so that the person was severely destroyed. They would also saw the women all the way to their stomachs and make a shape of a cross on them. Revelation 21, 8. But the fearful and unbelieving, and the abominable and murderers and fornicators and sorcerers and idolaters and all liars, shall have their part in the lake which burns with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. I could also see that they had landed in hell in different states. Some looked casually dressed, some in flip-flops, some barefoot, etc. They were in terrible pain, but they can't die. People in hell are dead already. I saw a man who was there on one of the tables and he glanced at us. The demon torturing him had big ears and it looked as if it was performing an operation. When it saw the Lord, it just glanced at him and continued what it was doing. It seemed exceedingly pleased that the Lord was seeing it do this to a human. The man looked at us and I could see that his eyes were full of pain. He did not scream, but was as if he couldn't talk. However, all the pain was written in his eyes. I could also see from the look of his eyes that he was thinking, If only I was the one standing in your place with Jesus right now, I would never sin when I return to earth. I would give anything to be in your place. He looked like a young man. I also saw a huge demon, and it was carrying two buckets, one in each hand. Inside each of these huge buckets were countless worms and a person in the middle. The person in one bucket looked thin and gray, and his tongue was twisted and hanging out. Their hands were clasped together and drawn to their body, and they were sitting, with their knees facing up. Their eyes were rolled white out of pain. The Lord told me that these were also masturbators. I saw a woman who used to commit fornication here on earth. Fornication is engaging in premarital sexual affairs. A demon cut off her hands from her elbows and her legs from her knees. It then arranged them like firewood and put her gray body there. She was burning on her own hands and feet as firewood. Mark 9, 43 to 48. And if your hand offend you, cut it off. It is better for you to enter into life maimed than having two hands to go into hell, into the fire that never shall be quenched. 44. Where their worm dies not, and the fire is not quenched. 45. And if your foot offend you, 
cut it off. It is better for you to enter halt into life than having two feet to be cast into hell, into the fire that never shall be quenched. 46. Where their worm dies not, and the fire is not quenched. I saw others for living their lives without anything to do with God, but would just go about their daily lives as if God didn't exist. They did not acknowledge Him. God did not come first in their lives. These were idolaters, and they did not feed themselves with the word of the Lord. Even living an average Christian life will not get you to heaven. God wants your all or nothing. You have to choose between Him and the devil. It's not just about going to church on Sunday. It's about carrying your cross every day, seeking His face. I also noticed someone who was in hell because this person had perfume and worldly possessions like money as their idol. These things would always come first and this person would always go to extreme heights, even to the point of robbing others and hurting them, just to have these things. God would come last. That is idolatry. I also saw demons with papers that had famous football players on them. These had been drawn in form of cartoons like comic books. The Lord said, Daughter, this God called football is the first place in the hearts of many people, and my Holy Spirit has no room in their hearts. Tell them that I will accept no other place but first. Tell them that unless they let go of that idol, they are coming to this place. Jesus told me, No one who is here is innocent. They are here in this place because they sinned and cast my word behind their back. The Lord showed me that when you are burning in hell, you also feel great intense fear, a horrible dread that never leaves you. You can never feel that depth of fear when you are here on earth. It is a fear that comes from the inner soul. The depth and height of this fear can only be felt in hell and never here on earth. It is so wide and deep that its intensity can only be said to be an eternal dread. We sing songs which say, there are heights of joy and depths of peace which we can never know until we reach heaven. It was like that in hell. There are heights of fear and depths of dread that you can never reach here on earth until you are in that place. Whatever thing you have ever heard or seen here on earth which made you extremely frightened that you remember it for years or shudder every time you remember is only a speck of dust compared to the fear in this place. Every moment of sorrow, fear, and terror here on earth is seen as moments of joy, bliss, and happiness to those who are now in hell. To them such moments are equal to the joy one feels here on earth when they have just bought a new car, closed a business deal, or passed their exams with flying colors. This is not to scare you. This is the truth. And you are highly blessed that you know this while still on earth, so that you don't go to this place. Ask Jesus to help you. Tell those on earth that I can help them stop their sin. Let them come to me. I will not cast them out. No sin is too hard for me to help them stop. Not even pornography or masturbation, secular TV or secular music, fornication, drinking, smoking, or any other sin. Nothing is too hard for me. I am God. People tend to put God in a box. They limit what He can do. But He is the God who imagined us and created us. The God who created the whole universe with all its splendor and majesty with just the words of His mouth. It is so little a thing to such a great God to help you stop your sin. Continuously ask Him. Don't stop. Ask for His Holy Spirit. The Lord also showed me many people still walking to this place of torment. Countless multitudes filling up the road to hell. Some were even pastors that I know with Bibles. The Lord told me. What they preach, they do not practice. Tell them to repent. Loving the world will lead you to hell. This message is not for our condemnation, but for our salvation. However, the Lord said that for some, it will be for their condemnation because they are not willing to repent. The Lord said, Stop following others to do evil. Whether you will want to believe this or not, I tell you, demons have been offloaded on the earth to make you sin. They have been given bodies that look human, so that they can influence you to sin. They are already doomed, but they want to deceive you that they are also human so that you can imitate what they do and become doomed like them. He said, Many of them even act in movies to take you to hell. They sing songs that do not glorify me, but only appeal to the flesh and cause the flesh to become more lustful. Some are posing as your friends, workmates, maids, teachers, neighbors, etc., but they are demons from the pit of hell. Follow me and I say only me.
for I am your faithful friend. Many of them, along with real humans who do not understand, are going to fight this message tooth and nail. They are going to be tools in the hand of Satan to take many people to hell, but do not be afraid, and speak out for you will open your mouth, but I will directly speak to the people through your mouth.